All right, folks, so we have a saying here in Florida, you get paid in sunshine. Uh, so when it's your day off, it usually starts raining. So had to take this party inside. So a quick rundown, it's a 1969 H25. It is correctly configured. Uh, so if you're looking for a restoration for, say, a little Indian or... Uh, I think Speedway actually uses two on the Shark in this configuration, and a couple other bikes. Uh, this is this is right. Um, it's been uh, bored ten over. It's a steel bore. Uh, I use Long Life rings. Uh, you can get that option for these engines. Um, shaved head, uh, four angle valve job, uh, stainless valves both sides. Oversized intake valve was installed. So the guides are tight. Um, light transition uh, porting in the ports. Uh, you don't want to go too big on something like this. Uh, it's kind of a waste. Uh, the exhaust, I do open these up and everything is kind of flows better. Uh, match ported on all the in surfaces so that uh, no walls in there or anything that make disturbances. Um, all the surface, all the mating surfaces have been trued out. Uh, ignition system is all OEM original Tecumseh, right down to the plug. Uh, let's see, recoil's been rebuilt. Um, original carburetor for this engine has been fully rebuilt and tightened up, and with slight mods that I make uh, to make them run pretty good. Uh, this is a three-quarter inch output standard and it is threaded. Uh, they started more so in the three-quarter inch uh, in 69.70. That got more common. Uh, tanks in great shape, uh, not dinged up or dented up. Uh, solid inside. Has not been resealed. It was very clean and I did not remove any of the bolts. Uh, once you do that, you've got to reseal them usually. Uh, paint came out great. It is single stage automotive urethane. Uh, I do not use clear coat. It's too thick on engines. Uh, water slide decals, uh, which are pretty correct restoration. Um, and that's that. Uh, give you a quick run. There you go. Hope you like it.